Alright, this video is for anyone looking to get rid of this big dorky gas pedal and a full size GM from out of the 80s, early 90s. Whether it be Caprice, Bonneville, or Electra. This is what I did. I just used a gas pedal that I had left over from an older Cutlass Skylark GTO Chevelle. The nice thing about this pedal is it works two ways. It goes down and it goes forward versus this thing. All this did was tilted forward and it's very uncomfortable, especially on long trips. What you'll need, the easiest pedal you could switch is out of a, uh, a Chevy truck in the 70s or 80s. I'll show you why. Being this is the one I used, and this one being out of a Chevy truck, the difference is, even though they look similar, the older model goes in from the driver's side. The Chevy truck goes in on the passenger side of the pedal. The wagon goes in, this is the same bracket the wagon has. So what you need is you need the spring that I robbed out of there. See this spring? This one goes onto the wrong side of the pedal. So if you can get the spring off a Chevy truck gas pedal, that's all you need to swap out. You can use this pedal and use the spring off the Chevy truck. And there you have it. No more dorky 2x4 pedal. I mean, you can see how high up this thing mounts. All the way up in here. There's no need for that. Alright, hopefully that helps somebody. I'm out.